Let's kick this off. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how much a small channel like ours makes through our monetized videos. To give you some background as to what's going on, I share this with my two brothers, Bap and Kus, and we've always loved making videos. We've always loved making content, producing new stuff, editing things, learning new skills in FCP. Final Cut Pro. We were very inconsistent with it for a long time. We never really committed to YouTube. It was around this time last year, we thought, okay, why don't we just try? So we got into producing one video a week uh, more regularly. At first it was a bit bumpy, but now it certainly is one video a week. And we tried to just stick to that. We saw a rapid increase in our views, our watch hours. And so we eventually reached 1000 subscribers. Shortly after that, we went and monetized and that was on the 16th of November, 2020. That's now been 86 days calculated that earlier. I'm not a whiz kid. Just a side note, I know you probably didn't come here for this, but if you are thinking of monetizing, I've made a step-by-step -step guide that will help you through that. That link will be in the description below. Don't hesitate to check it out. Anyway, let's cut to the chase, or the cheese. Stop! You almost got the cheese, Dutch. I think it's the chase. How much have we earned? Some flipping trains in the background, man. As of today, we are at 1,362 subscribers. So pretty much as small as you can get whilst still being monetized. Let's take you through to the analytics, show you exactly what you came here for. Let's give you lifetime. We've made a total of 128 pounds 31p might seem cool for a small channel like us if you take into account the amount of hours we've spent creating stuff it's not a great deal but as a small youtuber you shouldn't really be focused too much on the analytics otherwise it will just do your head in i already check it far too much and i know that it can impact my mood so for instance if we've dropped three subs since the last time i checked i'm just gonna be a bit pissed off maybe you can hit that sub button and um alleviate my mental health I'm joking, that's one of the important points. Stick to your original plan, no matter what your analytics are saying about your channel. Month of November was actually our best month. Uh, I think we got 162 subscri two subscribers. No, def oh, that was in 2018. Can't even use my own analytics. In 2018, we got two subscribers in the whole month. Okay, let's just compare that with 2020 when we were actually committed to YouTube a little bit more. Uh Someone's in trouble. Can you hear that? So that month was a really good month. 162 subscribers and we also hit records for our views and watch time. We made 25 quid in half a month, pretty good. Things were looking all right. I mean, per day, we were earning over one pound 50. Being completely new to it, I thought that was okay. December's interesting because it's in the lead up to Christmas and I think advertising companies pay a bit more per ad because people are more likely to put their hands in their pockets just before Christmas. We made 60 quid that month. You might find this interesting. The RPM is revenue per mil, which is how much you earn per thousand views. That includes all the views. So the ones that monetized, the ones from your copyrighted videos, all that stuff, that rose by 191% at £1.80. So for every 1,000 views, we made £1.80. So not too bad. CPM, I don't find so interesting. It's how much advertising companies pay uh, per, uh, what is it? It tells you how much advertisers paid per thousand monetized playback. It basically throws out all the ones that weren't monetized. This is also quite interesting or not. I mean, depends what you're here for. All of our revenue has come from one video. How to Fingerless Whistle, that's the one I made back in the summer. That made 50 quid in December. You compare that to the second most successful video, that's two pounds 83, just a huge gap. And then the rest of them just tail off and it's almost negligible. I mean, 59p for the month. Yeah, let's just hope all that stuff increases in time. My decor. Looking nice. In January, everything went down. I think that has something to do with the ads being less expensive, but also our views, subscribers, everything dropped that month. Yeah, 116 subscribers. In November, we hit our peak of 162. Our channel went like this, and then recently, it's just done a little, a little duck dive. Boobity boobity boo. And February, well, we've made 10 quid in 10 days. We're now averaging a pound a day, when in November and December, we were averaging maybe almost two pounds a day. We're in a rut right now, and we've just got to try and ignore that. Blinkers on, and just focus on the plan. Just stay positive and stick to the plan. You've also got to give yourself reasons other than money to stick to YouTube, because if the only reason for producing videos is money, it will be a long, frustrating, tedious journey. You're more likely to lose motivation and stop producing than anything else. You've got to enjoy it. You've got to make it your hobby. And that extra 10 pounds a month, 
that's an added bonus. I actually calculated how much our hourly wage would be each, because you divide it by three, assuming this was an eight hour a day job and we'd be making 6p an hour. So that's just not gonna cover your rent. We're really at a stage where we're earning absolute peanuts. It isn't the focus of the channel, but who knows, you know, in a year's time, where will we be? Maybe we'll have made 1,000 pounds. That's not negligible. That starts paying for your Mavic minis, your filming kit, the lighting, this. I hope I've covered everything you came here to see. If I haven't, just, you know, drop me a comment, ask me more questions. I always make sure I answer questions because, you know, we need to interact in this community to make it grow. Let's see you maybe in a year's time. Hopefully you will have made progress. Catch you later.